and welcome on Watches TV. And a few weeks back, we were invited with many other watch journalists at a fantastic event by Jacob & Co in Sicily for the unveiling of the special Godfather 50th anniversary timepiece. And this gave me a bit of time to do some uh, chit-chatting with Benjamin Araboff, CEO of the brand. And among some of the things uh, we discussed, well, he mentioned that one of his uh, little frustration was that people didn't really understand one of the cool uh, features of this uh, timepiece I have here in front of me, the Twin Turbo Furious, a dual uh, multi-axis tourbillon minute repeater chronograph. So just by saying this, I mean, this piece, uh, the TTF is quite a full program in itself, but regarding the chrono, it features an easy and practical pinboard function that indeed don't, some don't really get. So, and you know me, well, I propose to make a proper demonstration of it, reason why I got uh, lent this watch. And we took it to Le Mans, home of the mythical 24-hour car race. Uh, we really wanted to show you this directly in full action mode uh, while driving, but I must admit that this was slightly complicated as the car was naturally shaking a bit too much to get some real close-up shots. And therefore, I will simulate what we lived on the racetrack. So to explain things simply, with this timepiece, you can time events like any uh, chronograph, but it especially enables you to rapidly and visually know if you've improved or not this timed event compared to a reference time. And for info, this is a mono pusher chronograph, meaning that by pressing the pusher on the crown, it starts the chrono, second uh, push, it stops it, and a third push will reset it back to zero. But let's go back to this uh, reference time and how does it work? Well, to do so, you have uh, this uh, little lever uh, on the side, which is in fact the crown of the timepiece. In its uh, normal position, you can wind the watch and fully wound, you have 50 hours of power reserve. But then by placing this uh, little marker on top, it acts like a small security. And now you can pull the crown in two different positions. Fully pulled out, you can set the regular time information, hours and minutes. But in its first position, this is how you set the reference time. So in our racing uh, example, my instructor told me that it takes approximately two minutes to do a full lap of the circuit, something that I will now set. And for info, you can set it up to a five minute and 59 seconds timed interval. So as I'm turning the crown, you can see at uh, six o'clock, this minute information and just next to it, well, you can see the seconds. Okay, now I validate the desired reference time by pushing back the crown in its normal standing position. And we're all set. We can now go racing, start the chrono uh, by uh, pushing the, this little pusher, have fun and push as much as possible. And once the finish line crossed, well, we stop the chrono and visually and very efficiently, I will immediately know if we've improved and by how many seconds. If the chrono hand is in the red zone, well, this means uh, we were slower and very rapidly. Again, I can know by how much, how many seconds. And if we're in the yellow zone, well, in this case, we've gone faster. The yellow zone will show improvements from one to 11 seconds and a green arc from 12 to 20 seconds. So with this new established lap time, you can again adjust uh, your reference time. But this uh, simply means that you can't really count two flying laps one after the other. Hope you enjoyed this and that this pitboard feature is now clear for everyone told you it was uh, quite simple to use and it's for sure quite something special to wear uh, something as different as this and uh, yes you do get people staring at you uh, for sure but i mean it's normal and by the way yeah this is still a minute repeater I will not do the full demonstration because this is not what we're here for, but with this lever, you activate the minute repeater and it's actually a decimal minute repeater, meaning that it will chime the hours, then the intervals of 10 minutes and then the minutes, something that you don't see that often with minute repeater. And this is an extremely intricate uh, machine because you have approximately more than 800 components in it. Well, told you it was special. Thanks for watching. See you real soon and viva watchmaking.